a thread by Carlos Osuita. Donald Trump knows how things work. Check OK now 51 does not. Not in the slightest. Of course, check OK now 51 first says, you're about to be hashtag clown listed by like some Bongino puppet. Oh no, not clown listed. I don't know anything about Bongino, never read him. Saw him once on a Fox show. It was the usual 500 people talking over each other. That's about it. But if I were a Bongino puppet, I wouldn't know, right? Because I'd be a puppet. I consider myself warned. What about this accusation? Check OK Now 51 says 300 arrests took place over the few weeks Chaz was around, most of them from the protests and during the dismantling, while only a handful had weapons and even fewer firearms. If you claiming that our military allowed them to burn down everything, then I don't believe it. The Seattle police didn't arrest anyone for terrorism. That's what the feds were doing. I said over 300 people have been arrested for terrorism. The context is feds are charging people with domestic terrorism. As for firearms in Chop Chaz, I could fill an entire thread with photos. See, soy boys with guns. More soy boys with guns. Soy boys with guns flashing gang signs and major soy boys with guns. I can think of at least 20 more off the top of my head, and I haven't really dug into it. What about the US military intervening? The Stafford Act allows the regular armed forces to aid law enforcement, not take over law enforcement. See the difference? In Minneapolis and Seattle, Trump made it clear that the governors and mayors had to ask first. Trump said that the military told them that they could take care of the problem in Chop Chaz in an hour. Obviously, that's what happened. Ask any special operator. They like to rehearse. Here's the best special operations rescue of all time. The entire operation took 30 seconds. Operation Thunderbolt, link in the description. But they rehearsed on an identical aircraft first. All the gunmen in Chapazop were taken out before the cops went in, not killed. We don't know what happened to them. They were insane and willing to fight. So Trump authorized the military to help Seattle PD. The military are not cops. Ask anybody who goes undercover. You don't blow your cover unless absolutely necessary. The shootings in Chop Apazaz took place without warning. They couldn't have been prevented by undercover cops or feds. But how many shootings were prevented by disabling the weapons? All you have to do is ask a guy to see his rifle. I can think of multiple ways to disable the weapon right in front of the gunman. They wouldn't know until they tried to fire. So the military doesn't become law enforcement. It aids law enforcement. Trump took responsibility for whatever was done. The gutless governor, mayor, and police chief were off the hook. And a nice military woman spoke to them, I'm sure. Let me tell you what the Democrats want. Death. Black people killed by police or the armed forces. This is a classic leftist strategy and terrorist strategy. They dress up as soldiers and murder people in front of witnesses. I go back to this, which nobody can refute. Someone asked what the dip in societal improvement represents. The graph represents the pandemic, the economic shutdown, and the concurrent socio-political chaos. The economy recovery is going 10 times as fast as expected. Obama's best year was 2014 with 3 million jobs created. Trump just created 5 million jobs in one month during a pandemic and partial economic shutdown. Let's see all the Democrats credit Obama with that. There are no experts, only advocates. Trump and his team are the only experts. This is a revolution. Nothing is being done the old way. You need to readjust your brains or you'll be left behind. Set your brains to Trump. And here, I'll clown list myself. 
I hereby proclaim myself clown listed. Carry on. <laughs>